Here we have a multiple scenario Bernoulli problem, since it's asking for at least two success and two failures. So you know that multiple scenarios work and multiples don't. And here I'm going to assume that you're pretty familiar with the way I do multiple scenarios. So if I, if I, my explanation doesn't make sense, go visit 2.3 for multiple scenario if you need to. Okay. So I'm going to list out all the possibilities, except I'm actually not going to list them all out here. So first you can, so you have success and failures. Here you can have zero success, 16 failures. That would be the most extreme case. And then you can go to 115, 214. And I'm not going to actually list them all out here until I go to 15 success. Let's go to 14 success, 2 failure, 15 success, 1 failure, and then 16 success and 0 failures. So here we have our 16 different scenarios with 0 success, 16 failures at first, and then 1 success, 2 success, all the way to 16 success. And here we, we, we're looking at at least 2 success and at least 2 failures. So here's at least two success, here's at least two failures, and anything in between is going to be at least two success, two failures. As you can see, these are way too many checks. So instead, we're going to use the complement, and take one, subtract these four. So here we have one minus the probability of zero success. Uh, zero success also meaning 16 failures. I'm not going to write 16 failures out. So probability of one success minus the probability of 15 success and minus the probability of 16 success. You can really think of this as this all being in a parenthesis and these are all plus, but I just go ahead and take out the parentheses and go and subtract them all. Probably of zero success, well, remember the Bernoulli formula is going to be 16 choose 0. Probability of success is 3 fourths to 0. And then we have 1 fourth probability of failure to the 16th. Here, I also assume you're familiar with how to use the Bernoulli formula. If not, go visit the basic Bernoulli section first. And then here we subtract one success, so 16 choose 1. Probability of success, again, 3 fourths to the 1. 1 fourth to the 16. And then here's going to be 16 choose 15. 3 fourths to the 15. 1 fourth to the 1. And then finally, 16 over 16. 16 to 16. 3 fourths to the 16. 1 fourth to the 0. Run out of room here. Let me go up here. So it comes to 1 minus. And let me get my calculator. 16 to 0 is going to be 1. That's going to be 1. So we're really only at looking at 1 fourth to the 16. And that's something like 0. So, OK, I'm just going to write 0 here. Uh, this is going to be 16 times 3 fourth times 1 fourth to the 15. Uh, pardon me here, it's 15. So 16 times 3 fourths times 1 fourth to the 15. And that's going to be something really close to 0 too, so I'm just going to call it 0. 16 choose 15 is also 16. So we have 16 times 3 fourths to the 15 times 1 fourth. This is actually going to be something. 
this is going to be 0 0.053. And here with 16 to 16, it's going to be 1. So we here we only have point. We really only have 3 fourths to the 16th. That's going to be 0 0.010. So I'll take one minus those two, and the final answer is going to be 0 0.937.